Greetings everyone, Boris Nace here of American Steam Railroad bringing to you a video update of the progress we've made over the last several months. Work on the 2100 over the past several months included prepping the locomotive to be moved and turned, along with needle scaling the inner firebox and media blasting and painting of the stay bolt caps. In order to move the 220 ton locomotive, volunteers first power washed the underside of the big T1. After that, the roller bearings in the front pilot truck and rear trailing truck were drained, flushed, and refilled with new lubricant, as well as the bearing surfaces on the driving axles cleaned and greased to be ready for movement. Twenty one hundred was a gorgeous sight as members from the Midwest Railway Preservation Society pushed the locomotive out into the daylight and onto their turntable. With the engine again tucked away into its stall, work can now be more easily done on the firebox, including the installation of the new lower side sheets on both the fireman and engineer sides. Of course, the main work we're doing right now is in the firebox area, and here you can see the cleanup work we're doing of the outer sheet, so that way when those new rivets are driven, they have a good surface to seal to. Everybody, we're standing here inside of the firebox of the 2100, and here you can see we are polishing the mud ring up here. So again, when the inner side sheet is mounted and those rivets are then driven in, we have a good seal. Also, we have done needle scaling work here on the inner side of the outer sheet, and once we have this looking a little bit cleaner, we'll go ahead and put a protective coating on it. That will help prevent corrosion in the future. One of the bigger tasks we had to do this past week was to lay out the stable hole spacing in the side sheets. Basically, this required us to take measurements of each bolt, both horizontally and vertically, and then map them out where they needed to be drilled on the new side sheet. This was especially an interesting process because of the Wooten firebox's curvature, and it took the better part of a day to lay out where all those holes needed to be drilled. Thankfully, though, we did get the process figured out and accomplished, and we have now begun to drill the stable holes in the engineer's side sheet. Now, all the work we do up here at the roundhouse is not always on the locomotive. Sometimes we need to fabricate some things to assist us in the work we're doing. And one of those items here, these last two work sessions, we're making these steel sawhorses, so that way they can withstand the weight of one of these side sheets. It is approximately 800 pounds. Well, everybody, there's an update of what we have been able to do over the last few months. Thank you so much for those of you that are continuing to send donations in. And for those of you thinking of donating, we have many programs available on our website and items for sale. And one of our most popular ones is the $21 a month program or the Buy a Stable program, where for $69 you can have a stamped and serialized stable that was pulled from Reading T12100 here. Thank you.